Let's talk about process and in particular about simple process and how can we use the statics to be able to analyze the internal forces on this uh, type of structures. So first, what I would like to do is to define what is a truss, what is a simple truss, so we can identify which of the structures are trusses and later on what structures are frames or machines. So a truss and in particular a simple truss is the one that is built out of triangles and I'm going to explain that in a second all the forces are applied at the connections Also, all the connections are pins, smooth pins. So when we do a diagram of these trusses, how do they look? Well, those are the ones that you might have seen when you're driving down the highway and you might see some of the old bridges. Those are usually simple process so let's say a bridge that looks something like this that will be a simple truss now the assumption here is that the connection between all the structural elements are smooth pins, so we're not including any um, moments in the structural elements. And the other assumption is that all the forces are acting on the pins. So perhaps we have some forces on the top, and we have some forces at the bottom as well. But all the forces are applied on the pins. So if you have a structure that, as shown above, uh, it has is made of triangles, right? So one triangle, another triangle, all, all of them are because breaking down in triangles. Uh, the connections between the structural elements are smooth pins, and all the forces are applied on the connections, then that is a simple truss. Okay, now. If we have simple process, what we have is that the structural elements are going to be either in tension or compression, right? So the internal forces of these elements, right? If I take one of those elements and I pull it here on the side, right? And I see that the internal forces are such that they go in this direction. That means that my structural element is going to be in tension. That is the forces that are trying to pull apart that, that element, right? Pull it away from, from each end. Now, if the forces, if the internal forces are in the opposite direction, so they're trying to uh, for lack of a better word, to try to squeeze that element, then we say that that element is in compression. So those are the only two type of forces that we can have internal to those structural elements. Tension and compression. Now, there are two different ways that we can do uh, the analysis of these trusses, or tra traditional way to do the analysis of these trusses. Uh, one is by looking at the uh, rigid body of a particular um, node or a particular connection, right? So we look at that free body diagram of that particle, we should be able to draw the equations of equilibrium that 
help us find what are the internal forces on those structural elements. The other method is to actually look at a cut on the, on the structure, right? So if I take the structure and what I do is I cut it, cut it somewhere, and I do the free body diagram of one of those sections, either to the left or to the right, I should be able to write some equations of equilibrium that helps me identify the forces on the elements that were cut. The first method, the one that we look at the nodes, is called the method of joints, and the second method is the method of sections. And we're going to look at some more videos about those two methods later. The important part here is to remember what is a simple truss, and to remember there are three main um, assumptions, it's made of triangles, but it, the forces are applied at the connections, and the connections are smooth pins, right? so it looks something like this. And the other thing is to know that the internal forces on those elements can only be in tension or compression.